What is up guys, my name is Apprenti and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to infuse vodka. Well, I say teach you how to infuse vodka, really teach you how to infuse any alcohol you want. I'm just using vodka today as my example. You can use gin, you can use rum, anything you want. It doesn't have to be fruit as well, you can do it with like jalapenos or peppers or chilli. Any sort of that sort of stuff, anything that you want to really infuse with alcohol, you can. It's the exact same method, and I'll show you guys how to do it today. Okay, really simple, really nice and easy. There's only like three things that you need, kind of four things essentially. Uh, one is a nice little sort of, I've got a, a glass jar with a lid, an airtight uh, jar. Anything along those lines will do. You can even do it in the bottle if you want. It's just easier to do it in the big sort of mason jar like this where I can get my hand in, that sort of stuff. That's the first thing you need. Another thing you need is a bottle of alcohol. I have a nice fresh bottle of Absolute Blue here, so we're using that obviously. And I'm choosing to infuse it with strawberries. These are, I'd say, fresh out of my front garden. More fresh out of the front garden of the fruit farm across from my house that I may have just gone and raided in the rain. Not a problem. Um, that's what you need. And sort of the fourth thing essentially is not an item, but all you need is a lot of time and patience because once you've done this, it will take five days to, to blend over. So that's how we do it. Let's get started with it. Okay, all I'm gonna start by doing is literally just chopping the end of the strawberry, chop it in half, and stick it in the jar. It's as simple as that. Just cut the fruit in, it's a kind of big, cut them a bit smaller. Um, just cause it's so it's easier to release all the flavors that are in the actual strawberry itself. So, so I'm gonna get on with this. I'll get back to you guys once I'm done. Okay, so that's me gone through 15 strawberries. Now, there's no right or wrong amount for you to use. Just bear in mind that the more strawberries or more things that you use of what you're using, it'll be stronger and the, or stronger in that flavor. The less you use, the less power it'll bring into it. So I used about 15, that's about an average amount. You can obviously lower it to 10 if you don't want a strong strawberry taste or whatever taste, or up it to 20 if you want a stronger taste. So now it's the easy part. We take the seal off the bottle and we literally just pour it into our mason jar. There we go, that's a 70 in there. Nice and empty. Put the lid on our jar. Give it a bit of a shake. Now all we're gonna do is leave this in a fridge for five days. Okay, so here we go. This has been sitting in the fridge now for five days and as you can probably see from this one down here, all these strawberries have lost the color. It's soaked into the vodka, which also means it's soaked in all the flavor. So I have taken this out every day and given it a bit of a shake when it's, and then put it back in the fridge and just left it. So. What we're going to do now is we're going to open it up for the first time. That smells beautiful. Strawberry vodka all over that. So i got a big bowl now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get, this is a sieve they use to sieve flour. So I'm just going to strain all the strawberries out first of all. There we go. There we are. Once I get all the liquid out. Like, you can probably eat these. Um, I, you can use them in cocktails, so definitely don't throw them out. Keep them. Um, I'll show you guys a cocktail you can make with this another time, but... Okay. <coughs> that tastes nothing of strawberry at all. That is just pure vodka. So, I'll show you guys something you can make with these another time. Let's get them out of the way just now. Okay, so, now what we're going to do is, you don't have to do this, but it is recommended. It gets a lot of the, the smaller stuff out that you couldn't strain out, so... Pour it into a jug. Oh, not have enough space. Anyway, I'm just gonna do here is filter it. So what I've got is a, a Chemex filter uh, cup. So that's how I'm gonna filter it. You can filter it any way you want. You don't have to filter it, as I said. Um, but it just gets all the impurities out, especially if you're using a cheap brand vodka. This will definitely be beneficial, as I say as I spill it over here. But. Okay, so my jug's broken. That's why I'm spilling it on my surface, but all you're gonna do is filter it through, wait till it's done that, and I'll show you what's next. Okay, so this is all filtered through now. If I open the side, I don't know how well you have to see that, but inside there is all the sort of seeds and stuff that are in the strawberry that, that came out. So that's filled out now, so we can get rid of that. Um, and now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it back into our, sorry, into my, uh, back into my bottle, without hopefully spilling any, which will be the challenge. Come on. Nearly there. There we go. Now you notice obviously it doesn't fill the full bottle. Obviously some of the liquid is still a wee bit in the strawberries. Um, it's come out off when I filtered it and that sort of stuff. So it won't be quite a full bottle, but it's close enough. I can live with that. Um, 
We're going to give this a taste now. So I've got a nice shot glass here. I'm going to pour just a wee bit in here. This is going to be our taste. Woo! Still strong vodka, but it's a bit more subtle. Obviously, it's got a strawberry taste in it. So I'm going to show you something really quickly that you can make with this. It's really nice. So in here, I've got a glass ice and I've got some limes. I've got four uh, lime wedges, so essentially half a lime in here. We're just going to pour a double shot in there. And then we're going to pour a single shot of sweet and sour in there. Give it a stir. Okay, so now we have a essentially strawberry vodka sour. And that is beautiful. Really nice flavour combinations. Like, it's always the simplest drinks that bring the most flavour and the most enjoyment, so... I love this, and as I said, you can infuse this with, you can infuse any booze with any item you want. You could infuse, for example, I don't know, say you want to put raspberries in tequila, you can make raspberry tequila. If you wanted to make lime gin, you can make lime gin. Anything can be, or most um, things can be infused with, with fruit or, or vegetables or whatever you want. You don't have to use an expensive vodka either to infuse. Um, you can use a home brand like a Tesco's own uh, vodka, Tesco's own gin, rum, tequila, whatever you want to infuse. Um, it just make sure that you filter it if you do the method that I did. Um, just because it takes out a lot more impurities that are in the, the sort of cheaper vodkas and that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah. Try it, let me know what you think. Anyway folks, hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, feel free to smash a like button, it'd be much and greatly appreciated. If you want to see more top bar tips like this, let me know in the comment section down below. Feel free to go check me out on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Links to them will be in the description. Other than that though guys, until next time, I've been the Brand's Eye, and I'll see you all soon.